Okay, year 13s. I'm going to explain this question in detail because only a handful of you got full marks or really the amount of marks acceptable for this type of question. Now, a particle P moves, so that is acceleration A, and we know that because it's uh, meters per second to the minus two, is given by this here. Now this is an important piece of information. When they add anything in these columns in the question, we know we have to use it at some stage. So at t equals zero, the velocity of p is 36i. So that's just going in the i direction. A, find the velocity of p when t equals four. Now, we should know that, right, we have, we're gonna use s for displacement, then speed and acceleration. So this way we differentiate. So I'm just gonna say D for differentiate. And this way we integrate. Okay. Because that would make sense because distance, just say it's in meters, then velocities is meters per second and accelerations. Remember when you differentiate the power goes down by one. And when you integrate, the power goes up by one. Anyway, back to this question. So we've got acceleration. So we need to integrate to get V. And so let's go integrate I in respect to T, uh, dt equals V. Let's just start off writing it like that because uh, our methodology is, is not perfect. So, we integrate a, so that's the integral of 1 minus 4t, and that's i, plus 3 minus t squared. Get v equals t, remember when you differentiate t, it goes back to 1, minus raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, so 4 divided by 2 is 2, that's in terms of i, plus 3t, minus raise the power by one, divide by the new power, which is three. That's J. That will get you your method mark, okay? That's a M1 mark there. Now, what have we missed? I've run out of space here. We have to, we get the constant of integration when we integrate, don't we? So let's just write that out again. Because I run out of space. Now that is easy to forget. That's the most common error that students make and that's gonna cost you marks later on. Okay, so we have that C. How can we find C? Well, it's just information I told you at the start. When t equals zero, the velocity of p is 36. So let t equal zero. Let's just write that down, it doesn't take us much time. So v is 36i. Yeah, that means V equals 36I, T equals zero. Equals, that's all gonna be zero. Plus zero, so C equals 36I. So that's it, we're done there. That's gonna get us, uh, uh, and actually if you just write that, that gets you an accuracy mark. So that's gonna help us if C equals 36I. Find the velocity of p when t equals 4. So our new formula is essentially v equals t minus 2t squared i plus 3t minus t cubed over 3 j plus c, which is 36i. So we just substitute t equals 4 in. Sub t equals 4. And what are we going to get? We will get V equals 8i minus 28 over 3j meters per second. So that's another accuracy mark. So that should be an easy 3 out of 3. So, Q 
key misconception and error in this question year 13 was um, the plus C when we integrate when we integrate and then you cannot get full marks unless we work this out so that's big marks to lose right let's look at B now some of you recognize the skill for B which is really really good but we're just not finishing off the final marks this should be three out of three um, and then we will get there so you guys were very good equate the I component of the velocity to zero and you were all very good at that so what is the I component that's T so that's V equals T minus 2t squared plus 36 that's combining all the i's and can you see we forget this plus 36 we're not going to score marks in the second part of this question so we set that to zero okay equals zero so i like to plus the 2t squared so let's have 2t squared then we have the minus the t and minus 36 equals zero can we factorize that? Or we'll use a quadratic formula, but that's got a form of 2t t uh, 36 9 and 4 that's gonna be um, plus 4 minus 9. I think that's gonna work equals zero that's yeah that works so that means t equals 4.5 t equals minus 4 which we know is not possible uh, let's say t cannot be negative and so that's the answer so actually just doing that gets you a method mark finding that is your accuracy and answer here that's an easy three out of three again but lots of us are forgetting this plus 36 which is really not allowing us to get full marks we're losing a lot of marks here now year 13 i really want to highlight to you that getting you can all get 12 out of 12 for this question and if you, this is the only thing you do in your mechanics paper that you ace, this is all the equivalent to a grade D on your mechanics paper. So it's really vital that you understand these skills so that you can do it. So at time t seconds where t is greater or equal to zero, that's up here as well. A uh, particle q moves so that its position vector r meters relative to a fixed origin zero is given by this r. So r is its displacement. Find the value of t at the instant when the speed of q is 5 meters per second. So find the value of t, that's the time. So what does that mean? Let's use a light blue. Now, so that means we need to find v, right? We need to find v. So looking up here, we've got s. So we have to differentiate to get V. So that means V equals 2T minus 1. That's in terms of the I. Plus 3J. That's step 1. That's your method mark and your accuracy mark. That's two marks already. We should all be getting that. Uh, but for some reason we aren't. Now, keyword is speed. So remember, that's when we have to use Pythagoras. We need to spot that, that's easy to miss. So when the speed is five, imagine the triangle. That's five, that's three J, 
this is uh, 2t minus 1 i so you can see that this squared and that squared has to equal 5 squared so if you set up that equation you're going to get a method mark and an accuracy mark as well so you get 5 squared equals 3 squared plus 2t minus 1 squared and that's going to give you another method mark an accuracy mark here if you get this line down so you've got to solve this problem so we get 25 equals 9 you must be very you should be very good at this to be do instantly so that's 40 squared minus 40 um, plus 1 some people are making mistakes on this so let's rearrange that to Ooh, plus 10 so that's 40 squared minus 40 that's plus 10 minus the 25 that's minus 15 equals 0 who is that a 2 t and a 2 3 and 5 well let's just try factorizing um, you could just use a quadratic formula I'm just going to try 2t and 2t I've got to get minus 4 4 minus 5 and plus 3, yeah, that's minus 5 and plus 3. I can expand that in my head and that works. So we know t equals minus 1.5 or t equals 2.5. t is greater than or equal to 0. t equals 2.5. So that's your answer, another accuracy answer mark here. That's another method mark here. So that's actually a straightforward 6 out of 6. So we should all be getting 12 out of 12. Okay. Okay, here are two more practice exam questions. Let's highlight this. There's got particle P is moving on a horizontal plane with acceleration like so. Remember, important bit of information. They don't give this for no reason. This is got. We have to use this question, and you'll find out why. Because if we have acceleration, we integrate acceleration in respect to dt equals v, right? Because we want to find the velocity of p at time t seconds. So we integrate each term by term. So let's just start with a equals 3t squared minus 4ti. Let's get really good at laying out our work. Right. So v equals raise the power by 1, divide by the new power. So 3 over 3 is one so that's t cubed minus raised by the new power divide so four divided by two is two t squared i now remember the plus c because we are integrating we're going to mess up if we forget easy to do when under pressure plus raised by the new power divide by the power so increases power by one that's t squared divide by two so that's three t squared and that's just minus five t that's j plus c great first steps now um, when t equals three v equals eleven i plus 10j. I want you to get into the habit of just writing this down so you remember all the skills to do this question and then you'll be so happy when you see this question in your exam because you know you can get 9 out of 9. So we get when t equals 3 we get 11i plus 10j. Do feel free to use this in your calculator equals uh, 3 cubed is 27 minus 3 squared minus 2 is 18. I plus 
minus 15 J plus C. So that's going to give us um, 9 I plus 12 J plus C. Do you use your calculator, but I haven't got one on me at the moment. Um, so that's 2i minus 2j equals c, I believe. And if we do that, what do we get here? If we get to this, that gives us a method mark and an accuracy mark here. Um, I believe if you do that, you get a method mark up to here. And then we just need to finish this off. The velocity of p at time t seconds. So we just need to write that in terms of i and j. So we have our c, so we still keep the same equation t cubed minus t t squared. We've got plus 2. Put the i on the outside. Plus 3t squared minus 5t. Got minus 2j, so that's minus 2j. And that should be our final answer mark for five out of five. Well, that's one, two, three. Must be an answer mark here somewhere. Oh, I think you get two accuracy marks here, that's why. So that's an easy five out of five now, right? Right, I'm just going to go through this question um, with the solution intact because I believe you know how to do this now. Just key words to look out for. It says speed, so you might need to use Pythagoras. So the speed of p when it's moving parallel to the vector i, so parallel, not perpendicular. So we remember that quite well last time. It's parallel, so it's going in the same direction as i. So we need to equate j to zero because there's no movement in the j direction going up. Okay, so that's this section here equate that to zero then we can solve it we factorize and then we get t equals two that's wonderful now you get a method mark here an accuracy mark here that's your two and you probably get an uh, right we know t can't equal minus a third because t is greater or equal to zero and so just make that clear t equals two that's key now that gets you a method mark so we can all do that now uh, that's going to represent the speed now we are talking about the speed is going in the i direction going i only so this is important I'm going to actually highlight that again blue would not make sense we just use this because there is no j, okay, it's not moving in j direction. So we just substitute two in, so we get two cubed minus two times two squared plus two, which then gives us an answer of two here, and that's our answer mark. So please master these skills. You can do it, and you can get nine out of nine. Literally, that's got your grade at mechanics already, and actually, that's going to be these marks are going to be so vital to your final grade. And this is something that um, should be in your pocket. These types of questions now, with practice, it will be. Okay, year thirteen, or if you're in year twelve, trying to get a head start watching this. Let's look at this. Do feel free to try this question, use this as a revision resource because we do forget these skills and remember this is variable acceleration not constant because t changes if it's acceleration and it's constant we will use SUVAT so anyway let's look a particle p its velocity v at time t seconds is given by this find the magnitude of the acceleration of p when t equals 1 I think we've done really well to spot the word magnitude from our interlead question. So we should know we've got to possibly use Pythagoras at some point. Okay, so how do we start this? We know we have V. 
so we know um, that's the S V A we differentiate this way and integrate this way so we should write A equals DV DT be a bit professional we should really write this to get the full accuracy marks some of you are skipping some vital steps so uh, DV DT So A is going to equal 6T times by the new power, decrease the power by 1. That's just going to be 6Ti plus 4 minus 2Tj. Uh, and find the magnitude when T equals 1. So let's set T equals 1. So A equals 6I plus 2J. That's quite easy uh, to find the magnitude, so we just square all that. That's how we demonstrate that. So that's 6 squared plus 2 squared, which is root 40. Um, which is 2 root 10, which equals 6.32 meters per second, then minus 2. That's a really easy five mark. So that will get you your accuracy method method here. Now see this bit here is important for the method and accuracy that you have here. So writing this is important to get five out of fives. Uh, let's not be slip, sloppy with our methodology. And actually if you write these bits down, it will help you remember. All right, so that's a good five out of five there. We've got five out of five there now. Part B, given that when t equals zero, the position vector of p is i meters, find the position vector of p when t equals three. So that means it's, um, that's the i direction. It's parallel to i. It's not said it, but we can infer that. So that means there's no j. So set J components to zero, and I believe we understand that concept really well, but we're just missing out on a few things. Now this is important, but that's only when T equals zero. So position vector, we have V, we're trying to get to S, so we've got to integrate V so we integrate V uh, we could say R because we usually want to use the letter R equals integral 3t squared minus 1 I plus 4t minus 2 squared J in respect to DT we've got to be professional with this that is worth a method mark just writing that down so please can we do this properly so some of us are getting this step wrong raised by the new power divided by the power so that's T cubed minus T remember we're integrating so we need our plus C can't get full marks without remembering that plus C I plus T squared over 2 because you increase the power by 1 divide by the new power minus T cubed over 3 and I've closed the bracket too early because I want to just keep this clean and right now there's another constant of integration but it might not be the same value as c so we cannot write plus c we need to change the letter and let's just use the letter d or use any letter you want but d just kind of makes alphabetical sense right and that's in terms of j so when t equals zero 
we know we have no J component is I meters so that represents one so that means I want E equals so that's all zero I equals C so C equals one as for one I so when C equals one well there's no J component so all that must be zero so D has to equal zero right um, that should make sense because no J so all this must be zero so D must be in fact zero now that let me see that should get you a method mark and it's asking when T equals three so T equals three let's write this over here now we're gonna get R equals T cubed minus T plus one i plus 2t squared minus t cubed over 3 j sub t equals 3 in and that's going to get 27 minus 3 plus 1 so that's 25i plus 3, 9, 18, minus 9, so that's plus, plus 9j, and that's a dis talking about distance, so it's going to be in metres, that's your final answer, that's your answer mark and another method mark, dependent on you getting the rest right, and that's another 5 out of 5. We should have this ace now.